Hi there, Brandon. My name is Marcy Hutton, and I was speaking with Jessica. She said you were the one to send this video off to. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you three things that you could start doing today to outrank your competitors online and bring you guys in more customers. Now you're most likely asking yourself, why would I bother making this video and you know, what's in it for me? But what I found is with, when it comes to internet marketing, most business owners are too busy running their business to learn how it can actually work to their benefit. And sometimes their only hesitation in hiring somebody is, is that they don't know who's an expert and who isn't. So what I found is that by giving people an easy blueprint to actually, you know, of things that they can actually do to impact their business for free, it's resulted in some of those business owners raising their hand and saying, please do that for me. So if at the end of the video that you like what you see and you want to, we can chat about it, or if at the end of the video you simply want to take uh, the free tips that I give you and do it yourself, that works for me too. So the three things, I'll jump right in here, the three things that I'm going to go over are content, citations, and backlinks. So to begin with content, what that is, what I mean by that is where I'm highlighting the words, the images that you have on the home page of your site here. Google likes to see anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred words on the home page. Um, what that does is that helps them to discover what it is that you do and where you're located. That way they can serve you up in the search when, when potential customers would type whatever term it is that you're, you're wanting to rank for. Um, in the browser. See, Google wants to keep people on their search engines that, and that's why they're looking to get the most relevant results because they make money by keeping people there. So with content, um, it's definitely one of these top most neglected factors in ranking a website. So the good news about that is it isn't difficult to beat your competitors in that department. Uh, so definitely getting yourself some more keyword rich, authoritative, unique, well written content on your on your home page is going to boost you up in in the search results. Now I'll go on to back backlinks and what a backlink is is it's a clickable link from another website back to yours. Uh, if you think of of Google as being like a big popularity contest when other sites on the internet you know vote for you aka link back to your site that in Google's eyes is then going to push you up in the rankings they see you as being the popular one the the relevant one now not all uh, in saying that not all backlinks are created equal when it comes to uh, you know definitely quality is going to rule over quantity um, to give an example of that, if you had a, had a backlink from Pizza Hut, it's not really going to carry as much weight with Google because you don't deliver pizzas. So relevancy plays a factor. Um, the sites that, they're, that your links are coming from plays a factor, that Google trusts them. So what I've done is I took your site and I put it in this tool, Arifs, and I took the number one ranking site here um, in the section below, just to quickly mention, to get on the first page of Google, you're going to find your business either, uh, some people will just do paid ads because they're not ranking. Um, there's the map listing here that's next down, and then this last section we call the organic section. So but with the backlinks in your content are the two key uh, factors that are helping to power your site up in the rankings to be on the first page. Here, so I took you took the number one on the first page for this search term. You know, you can rank for different keywords, so um, it, so I can compare to yours. Now, in this tool, this tool shows me that you have 58 other websites on the internet that are linking back to yours. Uh, you're being found for just about 500 words, and you've got just about 300 unique visitors, uh, traffic coming to your site a month. <clears throat> so, if I'm going to compare that to him. He has 163, and what was that again? 58, 163 referring domains uh, being found for about 300 keywords, and that he's got about 500 visitors. So if we kind of look deeper into what these actual words are, it, it leaves clues. I mean, that's how you figure all of this out, is just by comparing to what the others are doing, and as I said, do, do more and do it better. 
So we see the words that you're ranking for. You see here bold properties. You're in the number one position, of course, for your own name. When people are searching, they've already, you know, maybe done business with you. So that's how they're finding you. Um, but we want to optimize your site for, for words that just new customers are going to be typing into that browser. Uh, okay. Property development companies, Vancouver, you can see here, there's about 40 people searching for that on average a month. <clears throat> You're in the sixth position. You went down one spot <clears throat> in the sixth position. So when people type those that exact match in there, that's where you're going to be appearing. Property developers, you're in the third position. There's about 20 search for that volume per month. So now let's look into what he's got going on. And this would just be, in, I did take a quick look, um, construction companies, Vancouver. There's about 90 searches for that. He's in the number, number two position. Construction company. So see Google picks up on the slight differences and and same like more people are writing uh, typing this in than just company singular so there's about 40 searches he's in the number one position for that vancouver construction about 150 search so you know optimize some some content on your site and the, and that's a fair bit of search volume that that he's picking up on and and you're not from not not showing up on the first page for that so that's that's in a nutshell how that works to try to keep that in really simple terms and then the third third um thing that i said was citations what a citation is is it's a place where your name your exact business name address and phone number are appearing on the web um, so right here this map listing is a citation and where the content in the backlinks help are the keys to help power you up into the search engine the rankings here in the organic section citations will help to push you or they play they're one of the main factors in pushing you up in the in the rankings for the maps so you just figure out you know find out how many there's tools that we can use to to find out what's going on and how many citations your competitors have and you just beat them um, get your your business listed on more directories than they have so hopefully you found this information useful brandon i will email this off to you and follow up in a couple of days give you a chance to watch and i'd just want to make sure that you do in fact receive it and happy to uh, open to hear any feedback that you might have on the information or answer or any questions that you have. So thank you for taking the time to watch this and take care.